All right, we need to talk iOS 26 and how Apple has now stopped signing iOS 18.6.2, making iOS 26 downgrades impossible. So this isn't good for anybody that has not been sold on iOS 26 and liked iOS 18 better. Unfortunately, now, unlike how we had it in our prior video posted on how to downgrade, Unfortunately, Apple has made this now impossible. What this means when Apple stops signing a version, it basically means that it hasn't been signed and is not going to pass a server side verification check on Apple's platform. What this means is you would be stuck on iOS 26 if you chose to upgrade. This is not a huge deal, especially if you like how iOS 26 is. Obviously, we know this is where it's heading in the future. We always obviously know as well, iOS 26.1 is out. But if you are hoping to use that method that we showed in a prior video a couple months ago, this is now no longer possible. What will happen is as future versions come out, Apple will continue to stop signing older ones. This isn't uncommon. This is exactly how Apple always operates, but it is something to note no less. A lot of people have liked being able to downgrade and move back to a prior version or build of iOS 18, but yeah, that is not happening. There is a caveat to this. If you are on iOS 18.7, which also just released last Monday, you can downgrade if you went to iOS 26 and want to go back to 18.7 if you do not have an eligible device for iOS 26. So yeah, it is still very minimal. It is still not likely to do what you want. But when Apple un unsigns softwares, that prevents customers from installing outdated, less secure versions. That's the reason. It's not that they care who's on what version necessarily. Obviously, they always want you on the latest. But it's more just because software patches, security fixes, they're all going to be on Apple's latest, not retroactive. Apple's obviously not forcing users to, un to install iOS 26, and there is an option to continue using 18, but once it's registered for iOS 26, now there's no going back. Apple also did stop signing iPadOS 18.6.2 and tvOS 18.6, so now there's no downgraded for iPads as well. I get it. I truly do understand why Apple's done this, but I don't think taking options away for consumers is ever a good bet. So yeah, definitely if you have a new iPhone, like an Air, 17 Pro Max, 16 series, yeah, it's going to be very difficult going forward if you're not sold on iOS 26. With iOS 26 too, it would be one thing if it worked smoothly. You saw that little glitch. There was Wi-Fi issues that we just did a whole video on. There was camera glitching issues with it kind of freezing up and lagging. There has been a number of different concerns about cellular connectivity, even with the new design and the new antenna bands being less stable than on older models. So there's a ton of reasons why people might have wanted to try it and then don't stick with it and want to go back. I'm, again, up in the air on how I feel about this. I think it might have been a little too soon to cut these back, but here we are. We can only do what Apple allows us to do, so just something I wanted to let you know, especially if you've been on the fence about wanting to try iOS 26. Not the best time to do it, just a couple days too late. So yeah, I'm very curious. Let me know your thoughts down below. I really just wanted to get this out as a PSA for you guys to know what you're getting into if you now choose to try to upgrade to iOS 26, as that will be it. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.